Hey, Internet, welcome to a very special edition, a Friday the 13th edition of Replay. We're playing Friday the 13th. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, I'm joined by Tim Turry. <laughs> Joe Juba. <gasps> and Jason. This is my favorite holiday ever. <laughs> <laughs> what it's do you a, do on Friday the 13th, Jason, other than watch Friday the a, 13th? It's a tradition. <gasps> yeah, there's lots of watching the Friday the 13th. Uh, there's usually alcohol involved and then more Friday the 13th. So you just do a big marathon and get drunk? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That, that sounds, sounds like, awesome. That sounds like the setting of a Friday the 13th movie. It's like you have a bunch of buddies hanging out. Having That's some overkill. Drinks. Also, yeah, we've, we've stabbed the, te- the mask a lot, but look at like it looks like a rejected thief logo. Um, Friday the Thirteenth, the way they did the 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 and the thirteen. Looks like yeah, <laughs> it's like no, no, not T M T H, guys. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Oh, here we go. Some, uh, I think we have to get used to this song. I think they might play it a little bit. So we were gonna follow this up with a roulette on Ocarina of Time, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Everybody wanted it forever, but let's not do that. We're all horror fanatics here. No, we're going to dig into Friday the 13th for yeah, NES. Yeah, yeah. Let's play this forever and just make this like an amazing horror fest of an episode. <laughs> and who's here for the party? Your classics from Friday the 13th series, like George. That yeah. dummy. And Mark. Of course, Bro. Paul. But where's Chrissy? Laura. Oh, Debbie. Hold on. Wait, there's and Chrissy. And everybody's favorite, Every, I Chrissy. Mean, she's so quirky. I love how she thinks she can cook, but everyone hates her cooking. Oh, my gosh. She always ends up... The kitchen's a mess Yeah. after yeah. she's done. She's oh. kind of a whore, though. But Paul Sorry. always acts like he likes it because I think there's something there. Yep, yep. And Paul just broke up with his other girlfriend, so there's all the drama. Yeah, him and Laura are donezo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll start with George because he's... Clearly the happiest and uh, needs to die. I should point out we're playing this on NES. Uh, I bought this game new back in the day. I'm so sorry. Uh, who else played this here? Right here. Oh, yeah. Right here. I have played this, but... I didn't play... I actually didn't uh, play this much back in the day. This was one of those games like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for me that I rented <sighs> one weekend because it's like, oh, that looks fun. And it was just awful. You're doing really well right off the bat. You've already got a lighter and a knife. Okay. All right. These sequences freaked me out, which are kind of like Goonies too, if you ever played those. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But whenever Jason shows up in these, very terrifying. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're not ready, he will just end you immediately. He will end you. Okay. This is very confusing navigation. No joke. It you remind- can pull up a map. I think. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So, so there you that, are. Then at that the cabin. All right. So that would be a left through the woods. I don't want that. Okay. So this was released oh, in the 80s when everybody just wore nothing but purple. Right, right. Purple right. shoes, purple shorts, purple it, shirts, everything. It must have been released everything. after Friday the 13th 3, though, because that's when, that's when like Jason got his hockey mask and all that stuff. Yeah, right. part yeah. 3, he transitioned from the burlap sack to the uh, mask. It was a good move. Very trendy. Oh, anytime. Thank you. Who's that? That's, you know... Pam? That's yep. a ham sandwich. <laughs> then it says fork. thank you. What Did she, did she give you something? So you're I think they were thanking you for saving them. But it says, still says that there's 15 children. I want to take oh, you. those are children. That's actually another life meter of sorts. It's like a so collectible, they're, they're right? Up at the top, those uh, little faces, those are the counselors. Oh, wait. So you've got to watch out for those guys plus the children. Well, let me help you. Tim, this is terrible. What are you doing? I'm trying to... Okay, so... Select... Uh, cure... No, they just hang out there. Well, but I left the house and then immediately... Oh, God! Oh, there run. he is! Oh, get out of there! All right, punch out, punch out. Okay, yep. you got to dodge that. His uh, stiff jab. Yep. Oh, that's when he comes in from oh. the side, he only punches once. Oh! oh. <laughs> when he comes in from what? the side, he only punches once? What was that? Some no- Dropping some knowledge? Yeah, he's got See, a pattern. This is one of the things that I will say about this game that I really like, is it's super accurate in terms of how, uh, like, following the plot of the movies. Because what the movies are all about is just teenagers dying in sequence, you know, quickly, one after the other. And that's what happens to me when I play this game. Not without reason, though. These are all, these are all bad kids. These are all the kids that you hated. They were, they were out smoking dope. They were, they're having the sex. (sighs) Well, and the, to find bad, Jason. Well, I mean, you know, according to Jason, anyway. This is what mommy told him. 
Is I it, don't know. Is, is it? Uh, I mean, when you get to like Jason X business, like any sort of moral implication is gone. He's just a he's that, just a bu- he's just a murder bulldozer. It does. Yeah. What it is uh, away. What is Mrs. Voorhees name again? First name. Pamela. Pamela Voorhees. That sounds right. I think so. She had a nice sweater. <laughs> okay. So, um, this game is really hard to play. Uh, <laughs> what are you throwing, by the way? Rocks. Yeah, it's just rocks. You lost like your throwing knife. stars. Were you supposed to go in that, that oof, last oof, cabin? Oof, oof. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, God, I yep. shot it. Oh! You can jump over those guys, too. You've got a pretty, Whatever. Good, pretty good arc. So does the rock. Okay. Oh, wait, so, someone, so someone died. Yes. Right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I'm sorry. He could... Show up at any time. It's an awful camp. No beds, nothing. Oh, it's just like they're camping out at Fantasy Star on the Master System. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird, weird choice. Um, I just got finished watching Part 7 uh, the other day, which is, if anyone remembers it, it's with the telekinetic girl. Oh, yeah. Um, it's like, it's like yeah whose, whose father uh, comes from the bottom of Camp Crystal Lake to strangle Jason with the chains, his very oh, own chains. Yeah. Yeah. They, they never dragged the lake for uh, your old dad after she murdered him with his mind. So, yeah. that a lot out. of people coming out of that lake. I think the best part is uh, the next one. Jason takes Manhattan, part eight. Oh. When they're That's apparently he punches in that the guy's lake. head off, yes. right? Amazing quality kill. Uh, but in the beginning of that movie, they start off like in the lake, and they accidentally pick up Jason. Yeah, but then they somehow yeah. end, end up in like Manhattan. It's a ferry. The it's connected. Yeah, well, it's let's look at the map connected. here. I mean, there's plenty of opportunities for Cram Crystal Lake to, <laughs> to branch out right. given channels. I think that the pathway to the right flooded. Well, actually, though, isn't there some story about how like Camp Crystal Lake kind of gets re- remodeled and stuff and renamed after a while? So I think maybe, that was in the, the novelization. Well, I mean, yeah. You've, well, you've been reading my fan fiction. Like, I'm just saying that maybe there's some sort of like man-made lake hook up you like, rename tributary it? business camp going. dead boy and lake like what <laughs> what do you no, do no they do they did rename it it's something else am i wrong i am not familiar with the, the renaming of the i'm lake. pretty sure that it's at one, in one of the later it might not even be super late at some point they stopped calling it camp crystal lake maybe they got because like a license the bad, like the bad camp nick tunes or something like that <laughs> oh yeah yeah i do remember that uh, one of them they did have it renamed you gotta Absolutely. go to the door of the explorer cabin oh man Wait, so that's how much time I have. The other thing about Jason Takes Manhattan that's ridiculous is that he doesn't even get to Manhattan until, like, the last, what, 15 minutes? Oh! oh He's also, in the water! Yeah, you're gonna get Jump. Jason... Jump! You're gonna get Jason murdered. <coughs> yeah! Mark. I saved all you kids. Found the Boy Scouts. Hello, children. Well, so that's it then, Jason. No, he's, you, Jason. he's in here, right? Because it has his health meter? Or no? No. no. His health meter always shows up, I think. Mm-hmm. Is there anything I need to do in here? Um, stay alive. So, you remember that duck move? Use that. No, I don't at all. Oh, crap. There yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like punch out. Yeah. You got this. Uh, See, duck. Yeah, I duck. couldn't. I did, tried it uh, again. And it was, also, uh, you hit him a couple mark. times and it didn't take away any health. Let's get Should one of the redheads used... out of here. Okay, all right. Oh, already just getting murdered. All right. Um, I need to cross this damn lake. Okay. Which way is the canoe? Which way is the canoe? I like the relaxing beeping sound that happens frequently. It's That's not annoying thing. at all. All yeah. right, so what you want to do, actually, is uh, set fire to the fireplaces. Warm those bad boys up. And then, I guess, a special weapon will appear in the cave. Is it a bigger rock? Uh, it's, it's a torch, I believe. I went the wrong way, I think. You're just going to let that kid die? No, I'm trying to help. Oh, God, it is the wrong... Okay. This is a confusing map to navigate. I don't know <laughs> if anyone's picked up on that. Jason's pretty efficient. It's going through, like, one kid a second. It's a good uh, CPS. <laughs> yeah. He's got there. I, I was going to put my CPS on my, uh, my resume, but I decided against <laughs> it. Nice work, Paul. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely, anytime. You probably scared him away. I'm sure he's not in here at all. Jason, I yeah. scared him. Oh, away. no, he is. He's right there. I want to dodge so bad. Okay. Just let me dodge. Let me play your game. Dodge when he's up front. Shoot him when he's in the back. It's that simple. Man. It's that simple. Mm-hmm. It's so purple. 
Even Jason's in with yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's into the 80s fashion. Saving mm. Chrissy for last. Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably a good move. You know, it's usually the usually the girls that, that make it through to the end anyway. Oh, yeah. You know, strong uh, strong female protagonist. Man, the way I hope, the... I hope Chrissy isn't a slut, though, because they die right away. Oh, There's the cave right there, right? It's That is a cave, yeah. But the weapon's not there yet. So I have to light just all the fireplaces, or... I think so. Look how far that is. You guys have there. seen Behind the Mask, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Him? Uh, I think so. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They they talk about just... Is it just Jason? Or is no. it... No, it's about slashers in general. I have seen that. Yeah, it's about... Well, it's about Leslie Vernon, the new... Mm -hmm. uh, like, I don't know. That is one of the... That is probably the best... One of the best horror movies I've ever seen. Probably yeah, the only great. meta horror movie I've ever seen. But. It's time for Hollywood to create a new slasher flick. Like I mean, a new slasher, I, I, not just rebooting all the old ones. I thought that was it. I mean, like I, I want a behind the mask too, so bad. I, I don't know if I've seen this. It's not a documentary. It's case. It's, it's set up like a like a mockumentary. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, where it's about. Um, I don't want. I, I guess I can't really say too much. Yeah, even, don't if, say if it. Don't say anymore. It. But I mean, it's it's a mockumentary in, that exists in a universe in which like Jason and Freddy were real. And it's a documentary about, like, the next aspiring slasher. Like, the guy who wants to be the next Jason. Huh. Is that jam? You know, that kind of reminds blood. me of the plot for uh, Wes Craven's Moon New Nightmare. Time. I think it's on... It's, I think That's it's the one on, where they're uh, filming the... The latest... The Freddy Krueger movie. That's meta. And also, the props start kind of going crazy. Yeah. Killing people. I think it's on Instant Cube. Behind is, the yeah. Mask is, if you want to see it. Okay. Yeah, I always thought it was just a documentary. So, as if we need to say it, all four of us here are giant horror fans. Yeah. <laughs> and we talk about slasher fix all the time. No, Jace. I like horror movies. I like horror in general. I'm also a big, uh... I like gore a lot. Hmm. Um, and that, that can sometimes, uh... Kind of venture into realms that aren't necessarily horror, like uh, Hobo with a Shotgun. I was trying to sell Ryan around the other day. Yep, it's super gory. I own it. Haven't watched it yet. Wow. I, I can't recommend Hobo with a Shotgun. That one did not do it. Oh man, I like that. Movie. Mixed reviews. That was pretty much straight up gore. Yep. And uh, Rucker Howard. Yeah. Doing said gore. He did all the gore in that movie. <laughs> so, how many zombies do you guys remember from the original Friday the Thirteenth? Was there this many? Well, they. When they weren't outside, I think that's when the zombies were out there, when they were in the cabin. They were just off off camera. Yep. There's always just that one camper, or that one uh, camp council that would come back, rushing in, just mysteriously winded, with <laughs> clutching yeah. a handful of rocks. <laughs> and no one ever explained it. Over yeah. Yeah. I was fighting the zombies, trying to get the torch in the cave. I twisted my ankle because I jumped eight feet in the air <laughs> to dodge the zombies, guys. Why wouldn't you look at me? Well, as, as game designers, you get this license, and it's like, well, what do you do? I mean, there's still... You gotta yeah. have some kind of action, right? Outside of just walking from cabin to cabin. Well, I mean, the, the question in the NES era is, yeah, what do you do? I think in this era of They could have had uh, escape sequences. I mean, if you're talking about, like, cur current-gen stuff, there is so much that can be done with, like, a slasher-style game that has not... That has not been done. Um, I don't know, like, like a, a mixture of sort of, like... Like a sort of stealth action, like manhunting kind, of, man kind of, but with less uh, reason for the murdering. Or would so you say you, you play the, as the slasher? I don't think anyone ever published that game. Yeah, I, I just feel like it's just with the realism of today. Like I don't know. I mean, you look at you look at games though. Like like it's possible to do it. I think with a kind of campy tone, right? I mean, like you know, horror movies today just don't take. I'm like. You rarely find one that takes itself super seriously. It's it's aware of the conventions of the genre, mm -hmm. often sort of you know, is a little tongue in cheek at times. Right. Like I think I think if you play a slasher out and you're like hunting kids in a cabin and they're all like stupid, stereotypical, like the jock, the slut, the nerd kind of stuff. And if you play that aspect of it up without getting like too super corny about it. And the kills get elaborate. Yeah. Kind of Mortal Kombat fatality like. I can yeah, see that yeah. working. I bet Rockstar could do a good job with Even it. a little bit like, a, I'd kind of like to see it a little bit like a Tecmo's Deception series, you know, where you're oh, like yeah. setting, setting up a bunch up. of traps and stuff. Like, oh God, now I'm getting all excited. I want this game. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I does totally say that. I've always wanted like a slasher fighting game. Yeah, like a, absolutely. Yeah, full on like 2D graphics, you know, uh, the 1v1. Man, Jason turn on a light. Freddy for reels. Yeah, would that would. That. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, God. Okay. All right. You got this, Tim. Let's see that. Debbie. 
for you me. You can just, you can stay in one place and just let him come to you, dodge, and then shoot. Oh, really? Yep. But, oh, so I have to dodge left every time? Oh, wait, the dodge? I don't even know how to make a dodge. One kid left. All come right. on, Chrissy. This is it. Chrissy, it's all up to you, baby. Come on, Survivor Girl. Oh, we're but close. If they all okay, die, should that be the good ending? <laughs> I mean, it's the accurate ending. Well, I guess it's not accurate. No, because Tommy survived, 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 right? Yeah. Uh, Tommy Travis. How about Tommy Wallace? They're always named Tommy. What's the deal? Tommy Wallace is from Halloween. Oh, okay. I think that's it was, it was a Tommy. Yeah. Tommy, I, Tommy and Lindsay, right? I actually haven't seen. Ah! I love how Jason, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm swimming. He's just an Olympic <laughs> swimmer. Notice how the engine's missing from the boat, and Jason has it. <laughs> Jason's just strapped the engine onto his ass. That's what it looks like. like. He's, he's an an ass. ass. He's a master mechanic. <laughs> oh, okay. God. So dodge. Yep. I can't. Well, I do like how Jason's how do we health dodge? is persistent. I mean, I'm, hit, I'm hitting. I'm hitting the buttons. I've hit every oh, button on the controller. Oh, Chrissy. Reiner's threatening me. Human right. friends are dead. That's oh, how we're gonna end okay. it. That's the good ending. Nice job, Tim. You you won. You did it correctly. And I'm serious. We were going to do Ocarina of Time. Just throw that away, Jason. Who wants to play that? Yeah. Everybody knows what that game is. Let's continue our horror fest and move on to another game here. Yeah! All right. Horror fest continues with Nightmare on Elm Street, another NES game. So much better than Zelda. This game's two players, so we're going to have Tim and Joe on the sticks here. Four player. I call uh, yeah, you Edward Scissorhands. Whoa. Punching snakes. Oh. It's I like double in. dragon. It is a little double drag. Wait. <laughs> Power up. <laughs> what if what if we did that crossover? What if the dudes from Altered Beast could jump onto Elm Street and just turn into werewolves and uh, punch snakes? I guess. You can actually turn into things. Or if in this dudes, game. What if the dudes from Altered Beast got into like the oh. town and Whoa. started killing the kids? What is wrong with this like town this with the snakes and oh, bats and okay. random falling asteroids? There's no setup either. Is this a nightmare? Oh, I'm dead. Not yet. So I think you hit up and B to go into the house. Like somewhere on the staircase. It's a little... <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part of the game, just trying to get into the dark. Okay, dummies. Hold. Let's pause, by the way. Hold. Hold. I know you have to go in. I, I, I don't exactly know how. Well, you know, I mean... <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That's not just a backdrop. Okay, I'm, I'm positive, going. actually. Whoa! I mean, we're not going to beat it anyway. Let's keep punching rats and birds. We're not beating this? Don't kill the illusion, Joe. 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 Gel. Gel. What? <laughs> uh, gel Jorbel. <laughs> what ever happened to Gel? So who do you think published or developed this game? Rare. Yep. Okay, good. It was rare. <laughs> yeah. nice, nice job, Joe. You kind of ruined published my... Published by Jalico. It's going to blow your minds. It didn't blow my mind. It sucks. So nice it's kind of And it's published by... Uh, ooh. Bazing. Bazing published by LJN. Hey, there we go. Oh, LJN made some real gems. Look at this. The music's actually not that bad, from what I can hear. This is... Uh, so bones? All right. Why are bones good for us? These are Freddy's well, bones, right? Yeah. You, you, you got to burn, burn them, right? Freddy's bones in order to kill them. Ah... Wait, I'm still alive. No, it's, is it switching into a nightmare or out of a nightmare? Into, I believe. So I would I would say that uh, regular Elm Street is pretty damn terrifying. No, just, oh, wow. Yeah, it's got like zombies and Frankenstein's and crows all over the place. Yeah, this game should just be about oh, falling no. asleep. Stay Jeez, awake. What's wrong with that thing? It's Freddy's head. Freddy's head is the part five. So they got to be sleeping already. Yeah, this, this is, is a, all nightmare. This is a nightmare. Everything state. you're seeing is nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you platform across the windowsills? No. These guys kind of remind me of the main character from the game Renegade. You guys ever play Renegade? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. What, uh... You'd like it. Would I? Yep. It's kind of a... Kind of an NES era, like, brawler. Kind of double dragon-y. Is it better than this? Whoa. Oh, God. This no. is awful. <laughs> so, oh, Freddy's head! Again, he has lots of heads. I mean, I actually don't envy the the developers who had to like come up with the regular enemies that you'd have to fight throughout this entire game. I mean, or just any licensed game in general. You know, we've seen wacky stuff. Like we did uh, Wayne's World. That's all I saw on Reddit. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God! Yeah, Ridiculous you're fighting instruments in, in the uh, in the music shop. It's the worst. They can Apples make an awesome. Yeah. 
an awesome Nightmare on Elm Street game now. You have to yeah. go back and get the last bone that you missed oh, before you go down. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the worst. I, I know. They don't tell you that at all. Ah, what? I, I think oh, the, come on. The biggest license stretch is probably, uh, I know Dan would uh, lose his mind if I said it, but like Home Improvement, the game, had, uh, like he's fighting dinosaurs and stuff. <laughs> we, oh, if anybody's no, listening, we need a copy oh, of that King game. I can't find it anywhere. Nice, Tim. Yeah, we need to track that one down. Hold on, Jorb. Gel, I'm coming for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> oh, it's pronounced Torm. Okay. Rip Torm. Oh, Great. God. All right. Oh, uh -oh. Freddy's coming! All right. What? Oh, God. Can you get past this or you just die here? No, you can get past this. I seriously, you know what would excite me? It would just be a shot of, like, Jason, um from the game we just played, mm -hmm. just across this arena from Freddy, just standing with their health bars. Like, just taunting heads. each can, other? Can, just can, like, I you mean- You can make that happen, I probably man. could Photoshop you have that. Photoshop. I do. But I mean, like, I want to be Freddy, and I want to I want to be Jason. I don't want to be red shirt. That's why a fighting game would be ideal. Oh. I am so on board with you. I meant to be more excited about that when you said that, but I was busy playing a bad game. Um, <laughs> it's it would be that it would be like Jason, Michael Myers, Leatherface, mm -hmm. Pinhead, all those guys, but also uh, like Ash like and stuff, yeah. Classic, classic um, horror like icons, like the original Dracula or Frankenstein's monster or the Wolfman or whatever. Absolutely. Get it, in, uh, get in, um, Michael J. Fox, Teen Wolf in there. Why not? <laughs> what? I say, I say yes. You get uh, Ghostface in there, and I'm trying to think of any others that I would really, really like to see. You could have like a, like an ice climbers duo of the puppet master, leprechaun the characters. Yeah, Ooh, leprechaun. Yeah. You'd have to uh, continue, dummy. You'd have to be the guy that wins the tournament, right? Yeah. I just that game. It they, everyone just needs to to team up and make that dream happen. I would love to see like a trauma DLC pack with like Toxic <laughs> Avenger, Sergeant Kabuki Man, Sergeant Kabuki Man. NYPD. Wow. NYPD. We gotta make this. I happen. don't know that movie. See, I'm more in the camp of Joe. Like, I would like to play as the slasher. Oh, that sounds games. amazing as well. Yeah, I think you gotta keep it focused. Otherwise, hey, you found the boom box. It's gonna wake us up from the nightmare because it's loud. The boom Call. box is loud. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sleepwalking? You just ended up in a cave? Yeah. That, okay. I mean, I guess this is more realistic. This giant skeever is attacking us. Okay. I like how there are just like knives coming out of like not even holes in walls. Just like. Knife wall. Also, I feel like, uh, you know, the kids, while they were trying to stay awake... Go back, go back. Those kids, oh, while they were trying to stay awake, would have just been talking about the giant oh, rats on. and spiders that infest town, like, the town. I don't know. I was like, oh, I had the worst nightmare. Freddy's head was chasing me. Anyway, let's go back to fighting this Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh! our first uh, boss battle. Oh, everybody, left side of the screen. Vector Man stuff going now on. Now hit the select button. Is that the punch <gasps> button? Whoa, what? what what you took off your pants, he dude. Oh, is he like a gymnast in real life? So like, it's him doing he his gymnast He didn't transform. Powers? He took off his pants. Yeah, I just took off my pants. I just dropped Trow to fight Freddy's hand but for some reason. not even a projectile. You guys True. remember Nightmare on Elm Street 3? Yeah, the, the Dream, Dream Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yes. Oh, man. There's so, that one master puppet I was scene. really impressed when that came out. I was like, that's such a clever idea. Like, they're take, fighting back. Yep. Tim, take it's, off your pants, man. It's prime time, young lady, I think is one of the lines from that movie. Tim, take off your pants. I can't. Is that Young select? Lady. Yeah. I think no. my favorite Freddy line was, the, uh, the you got icon. the body, a, I got the brain. There's a power-up icon that you can uh, pick oh. up. Great, um, you got the giant key. That got you out of a cave? Yeah, I don't know what that key was for. Oh, I got these bats. Nice. Oh, God! <laughs> Mine Laban. <laughs> See that, Frankenstein? Don't make me take off my pants. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, that classic Mary Shelley quote. Mary Shelley quote. So like Dream Warriors, you can turn into a magician as well, which I think is pretty hilarious. So all four oh, characters can. have different transformations? Um, it depends on the icon that you pick up, I think. Yeah, I, think I think there's three main... Oh, okay. Yeah, that acrobat. Um, oh, I think there's a ninja. Really and then the uh, magician. Okay. Rats seem like they came out of a different game. Uh, everything. Everything yeah, except think, Freddy. Yeah. Even the main characters. Everything but Freddy. The music is, like I said, a little reminiscent. I'm going to even say the concept of this game might not have been uh, suited for Nightmare on Elm Street. This was a different game, and then they slapped Freddy on it. Whoa. 
Oh god! Ah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like how these bats That's are inviting. like these bats are calculated enough to drop rocks on our head. No, I think that there's a whole uh, my Python sketch that that sort of operation. Okay. Are there limited continues? Am I just burning through or like good? Times three. Oh god. Times sure. three. Let's just times run. Five. Let's just run through. Forget this. And what is the Z menu? That's when you can transform. Oh, the snooze menu. Um, I think that I, I have no idea. Snoozometer? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, once that reaches zero, yeah, now it's nightmare time. This game's bad. I want to talk about the <laughs> controls a little bit. Okay. He moves in the directions that I'm pointing and he jumps, but uh, everything's really loose and inaccurate, and his punch feels like it's about a centimeter. Yeah, I echo Tim's feeling. So say exactly what I said with an echo. So did either of you pick up a like a power-up icon? Hit select. See if you transform. No, I've died like, like nine times. Oh, there you oh, go. There there. go. Lost my pants again. Oh. I can't stop it. Joe Juba, he loses his pants. <laughs> uh, that's, my new, that's my new slogan, people. Jump Holy, I like jump. Yeah. Oh, great. Now oh, now that God, I'm dead, maybe we can I... find you some pants oh, no. in the junkyard. <laughs> metal pants. Look at this. Metal pants is my favorite. Put my pants. face in okay. my own crotch, and I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you have to. That should up be with for me. the soundboard. <laughs> Come up here and press up and uh, the buttons. Okay. I'm trying. I don't think we can go into junkyard. Yeah, maybe you can't go in there. It looks so inviting. Nope, it ends here. Press up and everything. Oh, that's the end of the street, right there. Yeah. Did we not get all the bones? We did. I mean, there's no bones to get. There's three houses you have to go into. Oh, really? Before yeah. the junkyard. I got no bones with you. <laughs> Come on. All right. This is awful. Yeah, I mean... That's bad. I think we should move on. We should continue Horror Fest. Let's not end this. Let's take a look at another game. We just keep going? All right. We couldn't find another slasher fl flick, but uh, we have Evil Dead here, which is just as good in my opinion. I love these movies. I don't know if you guys have follow followed that whole series. Oh, yeah. There's a new one coming out this year, which... I, I don't know, know, know what I think about this. I didn't it's know a, about it's that, a remake. Actually. I'm not ready. Wait, There's, is it wasn't Evil Dead two yes, basically it was a remake? remake? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they're redoing it. I don't think Bruce Campbell's in it. Well, okay. well, then that's just an immediate failure. Yep. They're they are destined to fail. Uh, I'll watch it though. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know what to think about really it. Do we know who's directing? I mean, it's got to be Raimi, right? I don't think it is Raimi. Uh, what? I think those guys are attached in some capacity, fall. but. Okay. Uh, the book. Yeah, I think it's a whole new crew, all new actors. So I think we're going to have a little more setup here than in uh, Friday the 13th and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, where they don't even they don't even tell you, like, hey, Jason's a guy, he's going to kill you. It's just sort of like, don't get murdered. Like, hey, on the street, take two steps, zombies, immediately. What's that book called? The Necrocomicon? Necro Necrocomicon. The Necrocomicon. <laughs> I do not want to go to that right now. That is the smelliest convention I've ever heard. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. <laughs> it's nerd flu is a different thing. Cut it off. Oh, that's right. It got to the so, too, twisting them, changing them. Oh wait, his that's right hand is already a chainsaw. That's good mm, news. That's not a bad Bruce Campbell either. That's no. Came for me. I will say this game is pretty, pretty damn good. Huh. All right. Well, I'm ready. I mean, I loved these movies. The the original movie actually scared me. I th I thought it was genuinely creepy. Yeah, the first one was creepy. If you had to be in the right mood for it with the right people. Awesome. <laughs> I can get behind that. Okay, take your pants off. Select. <laughs> Dead by Dawn. There she is. Oh, like soul. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Yeah! Nice. Get in there, okay. So it kind of auto locks onto each enemy. Oh. So that, was that a over-the-shoulder finisher that you did, or was that just like a scripted, just hit the button at the same time? Oh! Sorry, Ryan. I just saw uh, uh, Ash there impale someone through the neck with a chainsaw and then blow their head off the shotgun. <laughs> oh, I hate that damn that thing. He even got like the dumb mouth, right? <laughs> Pixar mascot. In there <laughs> got to start in Evil Dead. Yep. I never did catch the joke. 
I'm not sure if there was a joke. Well, why are they laughing then? Because shit's hilarious. Oh. Okay. That is, uh, that is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> 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 Look at them all. Uh, okay, so manual targeting. Boom. Oh, can I shut him up? Yeah, forget nice. you. Everyone's gonna shut up. Oh, now how are you gonna find out what time it I is? I shot some some math and education. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shooting up math. Okay. So Sam Raimi for the new remake is credited as one of the writers for the screen the screenplay. I don't know if that means that he actually like it probably made a new one or if it's based on his yeah, album. Like, ah, he wrote the original screenplay, so let's give him credit for that. Yeah, we need to use his name somehow, and he doesn't want us to, but legally we have to mention him. We will exploit it. There's a woman named Jane Levy in it. Jane not, Gordon Levy? Not to be confused with Eugene Levy. Correct. Oh, and yeah, she's was... very attractive, unlike huh. Eugene Levy. Do they get attractive people for movies still? <laughs> she was in <laughs> Shameless. Shameless is a good show. Yeah, she, I know who you're talking about. Oh, man, she is attractive. And then the main lead male is Shilo Fernandez. Shilo. Shilo or Shiloh? What? Shilo, maybe. Yeah, Red Riding Hood. Red. He's in all the movies with Red in the title. Oh, okay. I don't think anyone saw that Red Riding Hood. Evil movie. Red? Is that one of them? <laughs> Let's see if Dawn I can find something red. you guys might have seen here. Red Rising? Yep, yep. Hunt for Red Red Gossip Cobra. Girl? He was on Gossip Girl. Nice. Hunt for Red Red Rover. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Damn. All right, we're yeah. done. <laughs> now we're outside. That was a nice transition. Oh, okay. Now I get a demon power. Yes. Dante, eat your heart out. And then let me have some. Because I'm a zombie ash. Oh, all right. So I don't even have to do finishers anymore. I have super strong stuff. That's totally Devil Trigger. Yeah. The yeah. shotgun with like the electricity coming out of it. Yeah, it is. And it's an unlimited shotgun. It's still satisfying though. Even the shotgun blast sounds like exactly the same. And there were two Evil Dead games. There was a fistful of boomstick. Oh. The first one, the PS1 one, uh, was actually way more like Resident Evil-y and classic survival horror, backtracking, finding things. Um, I'd say the difference between the, the, the games, from what I can tell, is kind of like the same difference between like um, the the first movie and the third movie. The third one's just action and crazy stuff happening. Um, I'm talking about Army of Darkness, uh, and the first one's more a little slow, more deliberate. Army of Darkness is great, by the way. Oh yeah, that's such a, a great comedy. That's just a different, yeah, it's a totally different kind of movie. Yes, but I love that the series just changes. I mean, the yeah. tone. Oh yeah. <sighs> Do you ever see the director's cut ending? Remind me. Where he wakes up after he puts himself to sleep and the world has been destroyed. Oh, yeah. Whereas the real ending that they went with in theaters was he came back to modern day. The witch had come forward as well. Yeah. And they have that awesome fight in the supermarket. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's great. Yeah. The uh, pit witch. Yep. Mm, I could go for a pit witch. <laughs> Devil's pit witch. Yeah. So this is cast... that just like slapping some ham and cheese in your armpit? Yeah. And then just sort of, sort of gnawing through it. But you got to cut your armpit first in the Ugh. hot sauce. It's d disturbing. <laughs> it's really gross and painful, but... And it's not even... Yeah, it doesn't taste good at all, so I don't... You got to pick the hair out. Yeah. Actually, I shave, so... I was going to say, stick for yourself. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we tried to animate cleavage, everyone. We're sorry. Uh, Six months and not you a single can choose reason. not to look at it if you'd like. Oh, yeah, my appeal must be coming along swell. Hey, you know what? Give me the bad news and blow. TV time starts in five. Is that actually Your Bruce Campbell? Story, yeah. The Necronomicon. Oh. to say it sounds Your just like him. Being possessed by evil, you being forced to butcher them. So when I said you that Evil truth. Dead was upcoming, I you were as of this airing on Friday the Thirteenth, it had come out dying. yesterday. Are you serious? Well, yeah. It says here April twelfth release date. Yeah. Let's skip that uh, mandatory oh, meeting. Oh, twenty thirteen. Never mind. A year from now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little fishy. I'd like to be a little. I was bit of like, buzz. man, I, you'd think I'd see a, a trailer, something like that. Sense. How do you remake that movie though? I mean, like you have to go full on slapsticky because you're gonna remove all the weight of when his arm gets cut off, unless you change like the way he loses his arm. You know, you have to play with with viewers' expectations. You know. 
Thanks for believing. I think yeah. that was the funny part. That's what they were laughing at was him cutting off his arm. Yeah, they're just like, haha. Hmm. Why'd you do that? It's silly. That was weighty. That was your arm, dummy. You know what? Just to... You know, I bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for thigh-high stockings and a bra that pushed up your yams. Hey, the your yams. yams. I'm going to use that from now on. Yams? And oh, wasn't her bra already doing that? Oh, baby smooth, Ashinova. No, I think I think he wants some like pushed up like shoulder height. Oh, okay. Colonel Sanders? No, that's just my grandpa. It's a guy from the <laughs> Matrix. Oh, nice place. So the premise for the remake is Mia, a young woman struggling with sobriety, heads to a remote, remote cabin with friends and a group of uh, friends and her brother, where they discover a book of the dead that leads to danger and horror. Familiar? Nope. This, this is kind of a cool transition. I liked that, going through all the, uh, the floors. Crazy doctor. And he's doing the same pose as he was in the, uh, in the picture, portrait. Yeah. Just in case there's any ambiguity yeah. <laughs> about who this was. Necronomicon He's doing dirty some book. surgery on the Necronomicon. Oh, weird, he's German. <laughs> How strange. To reshape the world. A German that wants to reshape the world. To release the power of the dead. Who does he kind of look like? Or is this another one of your crazy mad scientists, Rams? Jack Lemmon? Even your sock. Um, my mood today. Looks a little fact, Anthony Hopkins y. No, yeah, yeah, I see that. A living being could experience the power of this amazing book without succumbing to its evil. Actually, maybe a little I'm bit of a. Uh, sorry Gene that my Hackman. experiments on you proved fatal. Not seeing that one. Okay. Maybe a little sting. Old sting. Like if I could picture a really old sting? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, current day sting, probably. I'm kind of curious about this game. This, this reminds me of when we played that uh, Call of Cthulhu game. I want to see more of that one yet. Yeah. Didn't expect anything going into it, but just like, oh, this would have been fine. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe a super replay on this? <laughs> no, I was thinking Friday the 13th would be the takeaway super replay candidate. See the alternate ending where yeah. the kids survive, yeah. What would we have done, though, for the super replay showdown if someone had just been really championing that game? Like, no one's ever heard of anyone beating it. <laughs> And you're just really like, no, no, we get to choose our game, guys. <laughs> and we just would have to play it until we finish it. You and can do that in next year's showdown. No, I probably won't do that. <laughs> no, I don't want to spoil anything, but that's probably not happening. Wait, but we get to choose who has to play oh, God. when we win, right? Yeah, you yeah. could do that. <laughs> that's a twisted way to do that whole showdown. Oh, I, I like this. I'm the right. punishment entry. Okay, so this is totally uh, like when the um, demon thing is going through the woods in first person. Sure. Mm -hmm. oh. And, oh, it just clotheslined that guy. I always like that, how it's just, we, you do eventually see it. It's the gigantic face. Oh, wow. wow. I think it's a crazy badger cam. Like they just strap a camera to a crazy badger and let it loose. Just let it go. Yeah. Cheap. Cheap production costs. Oh God! So Wait, this a kick in the I don't like this game as much. You don't? No. I mean, it's too normal. I mean, like there's not enough crazy crap happening. Oh well, yeah, for I mean, it's, just, it's just like it's just to me, it just feels like oh, this is a licensed, like this is a licensed 3D, you know, third-person action game. I mean, if you really like Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell, you know, True. like, like th that's that aspect of it's cool. But what just happened there? Uh, someone got sucked down that vent. That was pretty cool. Or that drain. I guess the design wise, Joe, this is pretty pretty by the numbers. I mean so far. Like I'm I'd be way more interested in in, in actually playing like figuring out and playing through Friday the thirteenth than I would than I am sure. in this one right now. You are more than welcome to do <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've tried. I can't do it. I mean to be fair though, I haven't put in the real like I haven't done the thing where I like do my research, find out what I need to do and when, and that kind of thing for that game. We couldn't even figure out how to duck. Let's see if these freaks are still. It's kind of an interesting way to set up your game, though. I mean, it was like a bad dream. Um, was like the tutorial showing me everything yep. that I'm gonna have, and there's no, there's no ammo. I am, I'm a big fan of that. It kind of looks like rather than him not having a, 
another hand that he's kind of putting his hand on his waist, like on his hip. <laughs> just sort of like a sassy gunman. <laughs> How about you, sir? Hmm. It's under the door. Blurb. And such. Do you aim is or is that how just sassy people talk? It's just a blur. Back then. Right, yeah, Tim. Tim, can you aim? Uh, I can free aim, yeah. Way to flip that switch. Blur. I mean, this is their idea of free aim, Blair. Wait. Uh. Yeah, that's free aiming to them. Otherwise, you shoot in the direction. There's a flashy on that TV. Coast is clear. Oh, oh. oh nice. Oh, horror. <laughs> just yell horror. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> he just took a pot shot, like, in the middle of combat. I like that. Sneak through there. Oh, he was an innocent. Did you guys ever play The Suffering? Yeah, yeah. I've really liked The Suffering. Oh! The first one. Yeah, I didn't play the second one at all. I, I played a little of the second one and did not like it. Uh, but I really like the first one. Yeah. I like the lore that they attach to every little thing in the first game. Like this lighthouse, this downed World War II fighter. Like mm -hmm. everything had some weight to it. I like the way the they handled the sort of ambiguity of what Cork did in The Suffering 2. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And depending on your ending, that would be, it would affect the truth. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. It reminded me of just this more mature Damn way to tell a story or. A uh, darker kind of story, I should say. Because um, I really like Twisted Metal Black, and it kind of like hit on some of those notes for me. Mm. But that was, didn't that the entirety of the suffering let you play it in either third person or first person if you wanted? I don't know about that. I, I remember, remember he would that. transform into a giant beast, right? You know, I don't yeah. remember ever playing that in that first hurt. person, which leads me to think that it probably sucked. Because like like there was a lot of there was a lot of like. There's some melee stuff in that game, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First-person melee is traditionally... Well, especially in the PS2 era. Yeah, I mean, Condemned kind of... Sort of making people think, like, this could actually happen, but... Uh, yeah. Remember Breakdown? Oh, God. Is, was that the one? Where yeah, you, that's, yeah, that's it. Good memory. I did not play Breakdown. That was, like, a first-person melee... It was just first-person punching, and it was problematic. Okay. I'd say probably the best first-person melee game I've played so far um, this generation is probably Dead Island. But, hmm. I mean, Left 4 Dead 2 does it pretty pretty well, too. But. I like Condemns. Yeah. The feel of, of connecting with a bat and seeing the tooth go flying was yep. very cool. Ah, I like Skyrim. That's yeah, Skyrim's bit. got great first-person uh, melee. First yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this seems pretty by the numbers. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to see much more of this one. Yeah, you know, I'd actually... Like, I wouldn't be opposed to having a night where it's just, like, grab some beers. This game wouldn't be that hard to, like, probably trudge through and just... You know, I like the Evil Dead universe. I mm -hmm. love Bruce Campbell and just kind of revisit that a little bit, maybe watch one of the original movies. This would not be that bad to return to. I'd actually recommend it for, like, Die Hard. Yeah. Like it looks like they're doing some cool stuff with the Necro Comic Con. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, who are, you sending to, who are we sending to Necro Comic Con this year? That will be you, Tim. Okay, I'll cover that. Sure. And, Can I see uh, video for that? You get some some decent Bruce Willis or uh, Bruce Campbell one-liners. If Bruce Willis yeah. can be there too, I mean, we need to send Dim Turry. <laughs> <laughs> My doppelganger. We yeah. didn't even get to and uh, Dummy Dan Riker. Um, Ash's sidekick. He gets a Deadite sidekick in here. Oh, really? That he can literally kick around. He's a little, little tiny dude. He's cool. voiced by um, Sam Raimi's brother. Oh, oh yeah, the guy from the Xena shows yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that, huh? But uh, yeah. Adds a lot of uh, woody banter, fun stuff. Isn't he the ice team. cream man or something? Or what was uh, Sam Raimi's brother's? Uh, I'm thinking does Ron Howard have a brother too? That's yeah, a yeah, bunch of stuff. He he's like a, like your stock creepy dude kind mm -hmm. of. I think Ted's a little creepy as well. He looks as such. Okay, Ted Raimi. Yeah. Yeah, he was the funny, the comic relief on Hercules and Xena. Yeah, oh. yeah. They look very similar, the two. Yeah. Man, everything is animated. It's like Alan Wake. <laughs> I like oh boy I really want to play this again I'm going to bring it home tonight Alright well that's going to conclude our After horror, horror fest Hope horror you guys fest. had fun Horror fest 2012 horror fest. Friday the 13th 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 Chains rattling <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone Burr.